this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a English rose style flower on this glass bottle. Not really sure. I should have looked before I took it off, but it's obviously a different shape of bottle. It's a very dark color, so it's not going to be good to actually put lights in. So I would probably say this one would be best just to maybe stick some dried flowers in the top and use it as a little vase. Um, however, I'm still going to use it. I thought it was cute. And I will be using 3A Magic Flat Brushes, a 14, a 12, and a 4. I think I've used those in the last three videos. My uh, fine liner from Westonia, which is actually a nail brush, and a number 4 scruffy brush, or not scruffy brush, but a different stippler. I actually put all these products down below. You are welcome to purchase them through my affiliate links. And I use all folk art paint, mixture of multi-surface and enamels. I am using fresh foliage, school bus yellow, thicket, peridot, teddy bear brown, oops, um, tea berry, and wicker white. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to use the number 12 flat brush for the floral part. And basically, as I do in all my videos, I just dip one side into the one color, the other side into the opposite color. If I'm doing this type of a painting, and go from there. Now, again, I'm not a big one on loading the brush a certain way. You just dip it in, do blending strokes, and move on. As I go on with my painting, I will dip in and add more paint as needed. All right, so here I'm going. I'm just doing a basic wiggle stroke. So I put my brush down, just put some pressure on it, and continue. Keep in mind, whenever you do the painting on glass, the more opaque your paint is, meaning that it's a little bit thicker, it's not like um, translucent, transparent, the more durable your design is going to be. If you find that it's not going on thick enough, you might want to give it some dry time and go back over it. All right, so with this bottle, because it is kind of small, I am going to do the best I can. I'm just going to paint on the front side of the bottle as much as possible. It is a small bottle, so I might end up going around it more than I think. I'm just going to go back over this one. All right, and then maybe down here, put another bloom. And whenever you paint, sometimes I put a stem, and sometimes I just paint around it. Uh, paint and then just add some leaves around it, is what I meant to say. So however you wish to do it, I'm going to put a few buds around it. I'll put a couple over here. Again, I'm trying really hard not to hit the other side of the bottle because I'm really good at messing up my designs that way. Actually, I did this backwards. I wanted to go like that. I guess then these are my little buds. Little buds. And I can do this one this way, just come back, and then I can come out and do another layer. All right, still keeping it on the front. Makes me a little nervous. All right, so here we go. Going to add another layer. This one has a lot of, of the tea berry in it. Whoops, just hit the wrong side of my brush. All right, I'm going to come in here. 
I'm gonna come around here and I just kind of go over go over the petal that I already painted and you can just keep like this has a little bit too much of the tea berry so I'm gonna go over it again and that's fine come down here And then come over here like that and just keeping it real. And then come in here. If you have any questions while I'm doing the video, please make sure you put those down below before you leave. I'd love to hear from you. And I am just going to keep building this flower. And you can switch to a smaller brush if you want. I am just going to stick with the same brush that I've been using. Just not to cause um, any more expense, I guess. And I am going to do just a small little center here because I want it to be a little, and I apologize, my air conditioning is starting up, so I will try to speak a little louder. And I am just doing this to keep from hitting my center. And I want more of a center there, so we'll come out here a little bit. Like I said, I'm just kind of tapping in there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go in here with my number 12 flat brush and I'm going to use the fresh foliage and the thicket, which if you know my painting, you know that thicket is my favorite green in this color. Um, I guess my favorite color this paint. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started here. I am going to just kind of tap in, you know what? No, I am going to just stick with this. I was going to maybe use my other, but with this being such a short, a short bottle, I'm not going to really focus too much on a stem. This may be some and I can also tip it into a little bit of the peridot. And then that just kind of gives it, if I do that, just a little bit of shimmer, but I don't have to do it on all of them. And just go into here. Oops. And I can come in here, maybe go like this, put another another leaf in and just swing it back. If you want to put a, a stem in, you can do that. I'd probably do it with the opposite color just so that you can see it. Easy, very easy. I'm gonna come down here, add some more. Now on this one, since the bottle's so dark, I really could use the other side, you know, the dark side too, and how I switch them at times. And you can actually go from from the tip back. You don't have to necessarily go from the stem out when you do a, a little stem. 
through or a vein or whatever you want to call it through the flower. You don't have to put a ton, although you're getting this advice from somebody who puts a ton of leaves on their paintings. Again, you don't have to put this part in. You can do it with the darker green too if you prefer. Up to you. It's your project. Make it yours. Okay. So what I want to do here with these is just go up, put a kind of a pointed little, and it's okay if you pull in some of the paint because I kind of like <clears throat> with these leaves when it pulls in some of it, I think it's very pretty. Very pretty. And then, you know, I can even do a few little pulls from this one. I can pull it over this. If you don't like the fact that it's pulling in paint from underneath, then give it some dry time. Pure and simple. I don't mind it, so it's not a big deal to me, but I know for some it would be. I'm just lightly touching and put a little, little stem in it. If you don't want to do that, leave it out. Anything I paint, if you don't like that part of it, then please just leave it out. Because it's really not imperative that you do your design identical to mine. It's just a an idea of what can be done. Design idea. There you go. All right, so let's go up here. I am so afraid I did. I just messed this one up. This is where, just fix it, not a biggie. Not a big deal, but this bottle is kind of hard to hold on to because it's so fat. Try to hold it up here, maybe that'll help. All right, so this is my little low bud. And then I have this one over here, kind of a low, or a little, not low, but up, going in a different direction. And I'll just put a little stem, and then I'm going to do something like this. Again, you don't have to do leaves around them. You can make them uh, just, you know, without the leaves, but I like the leaves. Of course I do. All right, now I'm gonna put another one of these type of leaves up here. And just kind of swing this one around a little bit and bring it up. Again, they don't all have to be the same. So I do that and I do this and Let's see if we need anything else. Eh, honestly, I think that's probably good enough. I might swing this around just a smidge, spill it in a little bit. I don't know that that worked as well as I had hoped. All right, so the next thing I need to do is finish the centers. I'm gonna take my Deerfoot stippler. I'm pouncing it all into the teddy bear brown. And I'm gonna come through here and just pounce it into the center of each one of these open open roses. Do that in there. Then I'm gonna take my little brush, my little liner brush, stick it into the school bus yellow. And I can stick it in, just pull it out, kind of turn it, and then come in here. And I might want a little bit more paint on my brush, but 
kind of pulling it out from the center, up, out, up. And there you go. I mean, just keep working it, get it to where you want it. And I'm just putting white in it just to have some contrast. We're almost done. I appreciate you sticking with me. I really do. And I like to just kind of play with it a little bit, add some more color to it. And we'll be almost done. I mean, you can keep playing with it, but you know the gist of it. Or you could just put dots in it in the center if you wanted. Pretty easy, right? I think it's cute. I could see this with maybe some dried flowers sticking out of the top of it, sitting on a shelf. All right. I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Prior to leaving, if you would share this on your social network with all your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate that. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and have a good one.